Let's talk about the TikTok Creator Fund. Just received a wholesale order. Over 100 outstanding orders or like totes here that need to be packaged. Yesterday I was literally working until like 1 a.m. Oh, no, oh, oh, that's what happens, people, if you try and vlog and work. Which cost me about £250. But all of the bags I made this morning, so we've got Sophia. Today is Tuesday, and I thought this week that I would vlog a couple days. I don't quite think it's going to be a weekly vlog, but I thought, you know what, we can try and film a couple days in my life and just show you what I'm getting up to day to day, because as a lot of you know now, this is my full-time job, running my small business business which you can see a bit behind me but I'm super excited just to have like this is the first week that I've had where I'm actually working on the business solely because I feel like I've got hair in my face sorry can I even there we go basically I quit my job I think my last shift was on the 29th yeah so my last shift was on the 29th and then last week we had a lot of friends visiting so I couldn't really focus just on the business obviously I was sending out orders and stuff like that but I want to build it so that it's something like great and for me that means that I have to spend a lot of time on it now don't get me wrong even on them days where we had like friends around and stuff like that obviously I'd spend time with friends but when they're not here I will be working and the hours I work are <laughs> I mean they're kind of random to be honest because obviously I get to decide what hours I work which is amazing um so usually I'll wake up at about nine and I won't really be ready until like 10 ish and then I'll be working till like 11 p.m normally which I know for a lot of people they're like uh, you need to like finish your day earlier but for me I feel most productive at night so it doesn't really make sense this morning I just want to quickly make a TikTok on my not business account on my personal account I want to make a TikTok on that and then oh yeah because okay let's just talk about it let's talk about the TikTok creator fund because honestly I signed up to it and I was like do you know what I can't lose like I'm, I don't need it to pay bills I don't like I just don't need it and I'm going to make TikToks regardless of whether they're giving me money or not. So I might as well sign up for it. And I read something and it was like, per a thousand views you get three pence. And I was like, damn, they're really not paying us for making this content. When it comes to like business stuff, I'm not going to talk about money and like in and out. But when it comes to this, like, people are just interested, aren't they? So on the TikTok creator fund, I've made... On my personal account which gets way less views and i only have about 50k on there um i've made can you even see that i don't think you can see that but i've made six pound and 57 pence then on my business account i've made 12 pound 30 which makes sense because i generally get more views on them so yeah that is the update i joined the tiktok creator fund all is good but now i need to find my laptop so I'm gonna make that TikTok and then I think I might write a list of everything that I need to do because I need to get a lot of shit done today and a lot of it has to be done before a certain time. Um, like, I've signed up to the post office drop and go so I no longer have to stand in the queue and make people wait. But I need to put money on that, which I haven't done. I don't know why I didn't do it earlier. I need to go downstairs and find my laptop because I thought it was in my room, but I literally can't find it anywhere. So I'm thinking it's downstairs. Oh, I'll quickly show you the bits that I picked up yesterday. So yesterday we popped into town, which is literally down the road. Um, and I went into Superdrug. I also went into TK Maxx. I'll show you that as well. Um, so let me just pop you here hello <laughs> okay <laughs> bit of a strange angle we went into Superdrug to pick up the last imperfection concealer and i got two of them so i did do that and then i picked up a powder because it was three for two and i was like you know what we're gonna go with the deal and i get to the counter and she's like oh do you want any of our special buys and i'm always like no like it really annoys me when they ask you if you want extra stuff like if i wanted the extra stuff i would have bought it but this time she was like do you want this perfume and i was like that's my favourite perfume in the world. Didn't actually say that, but, um, oh, <laughs> the lid came off. I didn't actually tell her it was my favourite perfume in the world, but it is. And it's basically the Dot Marc Jacobs. I'm actually going to spray a bit of this because, honestly, I... 
can spread a bit too much. I basically got it because normally it's like 60 pounds and this time it was 30, so absolute bargain. Is my laptop in here? Yes, it's on the floor. Um, I might actually do work in this room because I find that sometimes if I work too much in the same room, it just gets a bit repetitive and I just, I don't know. Change of scenery is good now and then, you know what I mean? Considering it's only me and I've had like over a hundred outstanding orders or like unfulfilled orders, um, like nearly a week, not a week, it's put more like 80 a week. Um, I'm doing pretty well because obviously I make them all to order. They're all made to order. So it means that I have to make them, package them, send them off. So I'm not like, none of them have been late and I'm not running too far behind, which is good. I haven't even eaten breakfast yet, but I don't really think I have time. And I don't really fancy why, anything. Why are you well, I need to do some work and I'm going to the post office. Look at this. Get in my vlog. I'll cover your face up. There you go. Anything nice? Look at you. Just topped up my drop and go account, which was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought it would be a lot more complicated. I don't know why, but I put fifty pounds in there, which will only last about two days, to be honest. Yesterday, I spent over fifty pounds shipping people's packages, which is crazy, but it's also just something that has to be done. Currently, I'm just packing orders. As you can see, I've got quite a few totes here that need to be packaged. But I've also done quite a lot over there. Hopefully I'm not showing their addresses. If I am, I'll blow it out. Um, but I've got my stickers here. So my stickers I get from a, another small business. I'll try and link them down below if I remember. And then basically the system works. I just fold up the toe after they've been ironed. And add a card. We've actually ran out of our thank you card. So I need to order some more today. Um, so add our card. And then just wrap in tissue paper basically. This is what it looks like when the person opens their package and then I basically just pop it in a poly mailer. So I've been to the post office and let everyone know that their parcels have been sent, which is all good. Um, so currently I have about 90 outstanding orders or unfulfilled orders. I don't know. I always call them unfulfilled, so I don't know why I'm saying outstanding. Is that even a thing? Probably not. Now I'm going to write a list of all of the orders that I've got to make. And what I basically do is see which ones have the same colour thread. And then I'll do them all at the same time because it saves swapping the threads out. As a lot of you guys know, I've actually got two embroidery machines. Let me see if I can show you. This is the old machine. The machine that I've had for quite a while. This proof of postage stuff needs to go with the paperwork. It is working okay like it can still do orders but it needs a service so i need to book that in but the man that does it is on holiday currently so i can't and then over here this is the new machine as you can see there's literally no difference there's a couple of differences but nothing major it's not actually turned on um i don't know 
there we go. Then after I've made a couple of orders, I think I'm going to start designing some new products slash new designs for the totes. The dog is barking. I literally don't know what at. Um, yeah, I'm going to make some new designs, maybe do some like mock-ups of the totes, see if they work out how I vision because sometimes you can vision something and then it doesn't quite look the same in real life. Um, so I'm going to do that and then maybe I can take photos for that tomorrow the only problem with moving quite far away if you don't know then i've moved about an hour away from our hometown um the only problem is that i have no friends here and my friends were my models so that means i have no models so either i can model them or i can just take a photo without them on the model but i do think they look better when they're modeled but you know what i will find a solution for this problem i've just made this personalized tote it's actually so annoying i can't find my scissors see ya bye oh no okay i've currently got a lot less orders unfulfilled i've only got 72 unfulfilled currently still quite a lot not gonna lie but i'm sure i'll be able to deal with it i am on time for most like i will be on time there is no way that anybody is getting their order late that is for certain me and my brothers just went out for a meal with my dad because he quickly stopped by well not very quickly but he stopped by did a food shop i've got all of these to iron which are already made and then i think them to have been ironed you know when you ask people to shut their, your door and then they just don't? Ironing is probably my least favourite part of what I have to do, basically. Let's just be honest, if this is the worst part of my job at the moment, then I'm very grateful because, let's be honest, it's not hard. It's just um, a little bit boring. What is wrong with this iron? I think I'm going to buy a new iron because, honestly, do you know what? I really need to tidy my room because right now it's looking like the business has taken over my bedroom which it has it has i'm not gonna lie um hopefully hopefully in the future i'll be able to get like a separate place for work it is time to package the bags i've got all of the bags i need to pack here and then these envelopes have addresses on and yeah basically this is the little setup i do not know what's happened to that that needs refolding but yeah that is the plan i'm gonna fold some bags package them and then pop them in another bag to take them to the post office hasn't got the goods and now i'm gonna have to try and open these but i've still got most of my nails on which makes it harder i'm now off to go and post some orders but i was gonna get something oh i'm gonna grab a tote bag because i think i'm gonna pop into sainsbury's maybe and get a little snack i don't know yet maybe maybe not i just went to take the parcels to the post office all was fine literally took like five minutes not even that in the post office um and then i decided to go to sainsbury's and from sainsbury's oh no actually first i went to the card factory and i picked up some tissue paper to pack orders with so i think i got five of them yeah i got five of them which only cost like five pound and then after that i went to sainsbury's and i got some of these because these are honestly my favorite things in the whole world they're called like pasta dinner nut i'm pretty sure they're like um portuguese custard tarts basically and they are so good so i'm gonna sit here and have I one of these basically i never film when like the daylight's gone because obviously it's horrible lighting as i keep on saying so i just wanted to show you that once the sun's gone down work never stops i usually work until about 11 p.m I mean, yesterday I was literally working until like 1am and then I went into Oscar's room and um, he was still awake and I was like, why are you awake at this time? He was probably thinking, why are you awake at this time? Ignore my earrings, but these are all of the orders that I need to make tonight. So I'm just starting on this one. Let me just do that. And that should be ready to go. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh my goodness only i would do that that's what happens people if you try and vlog and work they don't go together <laughs> okay now i've got to sort out this mess i just made double the work for myself isn't that brilliant 
there we go. I don't know how well you can see, but at the moment, stock levels are pretty low. Here is where our beige bags normally are. We've got none of them left. This is literally the last one. And then we're very low on grey totes, so I've taken them all off the website. We've only got, how many have we got left? About six-ish. Um, black bags we're fine for, navy bags I've got some more underneath the desk. Up there is all of the Depop totes which need to be put on Depop because they're not perfect. And then just here we've got our folded tie-dye so they're just ready to be packaged whenever somebody orders them. Also I got these things from Aldi for like £2.50 and I think they're so good. Like they've literally doubled the amount of space that I have. So on one of them is just like tissue paper and packaging stuff and then the other's only got the stickers on for now but I'll find more stuff to put on it. So yeah. That is what we're currently dealing with though. Ah, Archie, don't do that. You really scared me. You really scared me, I'm not being funny. In Archie, in this camera as well, you're just a dark figure. Guys, I just messed up. I don't know what to do. Should I try and unpick it or should I just give up? I don't know. Why am I so shiny and not in focus? Hello? Um, anyway, I think I'm gonna sign off for tonight. I mean, I'm gonna carry on doing work behind the scenes, but sign off, sign off. yeah, I don't know why I said sign off. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, basically, I think I'm gonna go because nothing's going right. So I think, you know, it may be the camera is cursing me. Maybe I'm getting stage fright, who knows? I don't know just received a wholesale order and it is so heavy but i'm literally kicking it but to carry it up the stairs was not an enjoyable task i can't even get it through the door wait let's push it this way there we go good morning everyone it is friday today and i just received a wholesale order um no actually i didn't a delivery how am i even wording this basically my wholesale order arrived today if that makes sense. Not me giving an up. I don't know. You guys know what I mean. Um, so it arrived. So I'm going to unbox it now. And basically organise all of my workspace. Because as I think I've told you on the vlog. We ran out of a lot of totes. Like different colours. So this is basically restocking all of that. And then I've got another order. Which costs me about £250 coming a bit later on in the week hopefully good morning guys today is sunday don't ask what happened to saturday i just didn't vlog i forgot i was filming a weekly vlog and um i just didn't pick up the camera but i thought today i'd film sunday and then obviously this will be the end of the vlog and then i'll start a new one maybe next week it depends i don't know if people like these or not you'll have to let me know um i know quite a lot of people choose not to work on sundays but for me i just work every day because I don't know. It doesn't really feel like a job most of the time. Um, but I'm not going to post office today. That's one thing that I'm not doing. Also, excuse the mess in my room, but I thought I would quickly show you my outfit. So, for people that are going to ask, the jeans are from weekday and they're the ace jeans. I think I have them, I'm pretty sure I have them in a waist 30, leg 30. And then the top is from Bershka and i don't know if they still have it i'm pretty sure they might still have it um but it's just got a rug rat on it i don't actually i've literally never watched the rug rat so i don't actually know anything about it but i thought it was cute so yeah it's just pink ribbed and this is my outfit pretty basic oh and the earrings are from primark i've just done the description for this video just adding all of the links because it's an asos haul um and now i'm just going to schedule it so it goes up tonight so, oh, don't do that. Right, I'm gonna schedule this and then go downstairs and get some food. Um, I can't find the dog. I wanna see her. Mabel! <gasps> Hi! I told mum I was gonna go get some lunch, you know, make myself some lunch and whatever. And uh, she told me I do not have enough time for that. So I'm gonna make myself a snack. And then when we come back from the garden center, cause I'm pretty sure we're going to a garden center in a minute. When, we come back i'm gonna make myself something like substantial to eat do you know what i mean right let's go um just about to leave the shoes that i've got on are my gray 97s if anyone wondered but let's go me and 
mum are now off to the garden centre. I'm um, not too sure what we actually need to get apart from some soil, compost. but oh, what we don't need soil, we need compost. I thought they were the same thing, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, we need to get some compost then for inside the house, like them plants. Is that what we're getting there for? Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna take you along to the garden centre with me. Am I middle aged and 40? Yes, love it. Jouer le garden centre. Right, I need to put my mask on. Yep. We're at the garden centre. Oh my god, look at these. I want one of these little statue things in my house. Them little face statues. No, you don't. No, I genuinely do. Look at these. Oh, they're cute. Look at that. We're in the garden centre. Look at these little duck things. Oh, it's not focusing. Oh, this is the little one getting married. Look at that one. That's just a bit weird, that one. Oh, look at that one. No, 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 Macy, Macy, Macy. Oh, do a bit of rearranging. Mum, it literally looks like something that would come alive in your garden. I like him. Oh yeah, he's cool. They're not proper um They're solid, stone, are they? No. I suppose that would be really you heavy. Dragon. Mum's got her plants. Look at her go. Meanwhile, I am not much help because I do not know anything okay, about then, plants. No, Mum just keeps on reading the labels and then telling me. How much are they though? Um, well that's a cute colour. That English rose. This one? Yeah, or this one. Actually, I think pink might, oh, pink might look quite nice. No, They're 19 That's a shrub though, that's not a flower. Oh, we don't want a shrub. Another pink one or another white one? Because this white one's looking pretty good, I think. There's so many of them. Should we get it? The white one? I've already got a white one. Oh, you want a pink one? I thought you were going to get a sort of pink one. Yeah, but I can't find one. Look at these. They actually look so good. I think plant them today. And we'll look like we're good gardeners. Leave him with the goods. Oh, I can take off my mask now. Oh, feels so nice. My eyes always hurt with a mask on. Let's take the trolley back. Yeah. We have now arrived at a, I think it's like a little marina thing. I don't know, it's so hot today, like way hotter than I thought. But yeah, we're just gonna have an explore anyway. We have been back for a little while now, but I'm just about to start making some more bags. Um, on the bed right now, here are all of the bags that I made this morning. So we've got Sophia, Grace, um, these are all just the beige ones. So this is one from earlier, so I can take this out. This is just a wider clock. We haven't been getting many orders for this tote recently, but it goes in um, waves, so sometimes we'll get loads for one kind of tote. I do not know why there are pegs there. I'll put them down there. Um, but yeah, goes in waves really of what people like to order, which is absolutely fine. So I'm gonna take this out. It's so hard to do anything one-handed with this machine. I forgot to end this weekly vlog, but if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and like and subscribe if you want to. I don't know. Uh, if you did get it this far, then well done because I have no idea what you've just watched. I will see you all soon and I hope you have a lovely day.